Hey, I wanted to clear up something about how to tell a difference between a Western Diamondback Rattlesnake and a Mojave Rattlesnake. So the common misconception is that the tail bands are always going to be wider in a Western Diamondback, being about 1 to 1 or 50% each white and black, where a Mojave Rattlesnake has much wider white bands to black at about 2 to 1 or so. So you see that pretty much true to form, these tails on these Western Diamondback rattlesnakes are showing about 50-50 between white and black on the color. However, you're gonna see that there's also a lot of different variation, not only in the banding on the tail, but the overall color, the pattern, the shape of the body, really the overall look of the animal is quite a bit different than on the Mojave, which is this guy right here. You'll see that the white and black ratio in the tail is as described pretty consistently, a lot of white, but there are also a lot of Mojave rattlesnakes that don't have as much white, or that's even kind of a brown color on there. So some of them don't really follow the rules at all. Like this Western Diamondback starts to get to where there's a lot more white than black on it. Check out this guy, about the same. Who knows what's going on there? Some of them are on, some of them aren't. There's a lot of different variation in these snakes. And some of them look really weird, like this one. So this one, if you're only looking at the tail banding, is purely Mojave, but that's a Diamondback for sure. Now uh, here's another one with tail banding is just kind of all over the place. And this is actually really common for the banding of the tail of the Western Diamondback rattlesnakes to be so variable that they really aren't a very good single diagnostic for looking at the snake and telling what it is. You really have to look at the overall pattern and a lot of different features. Like on this Mojave rattlesnake right here, you'll see it, it really looks very much different than the Western Diamondbacks. There's a lot uh, different pattern. It looks a lot cleaner. The angles, the shape and overall tone and uh, width of the body is very different. But really, when you're trying to differentiate between multiple species of rattlesnake, don't get stuck on any one particular thing because there's a lot of variation in these animals and you're going to be surprised if you are only using one of those, how often it ends up being something else.